How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Video. Today I want to show you Skype on the uh, Surface tablet. Let's go ahead and launch the app right here. I'm actually going to show you the setup as well as uh, how to use it just because the setup um, has a couple of things that are interesting you should know. Uh, first, guys, can you use the camera microphone? We're going to press allow. Um, can you let it run in the background? I don't really recommend this myself unless you use Skype a lot because it will. Uh, it can be a drainer on your battery, so unless you're Skyping every day, and a lot of people have your Skype, uh, you know, uh, username, I wouldn't recommend this. I'm going to hit Don't Allow for that, and now it should be time to put your information in to sign in. Skype is pretty much the most popular of all the uh, uh, video chatting services, you know. Uh, let's see. Uh, if you don't have a Skype account, go ahead and hit New. I have one, so I'm going to hit. I have a Skype account. And I'm going to go ahead and sign in here. Put in the info here. Uh, I do have an H2 Tech Video one. However, I rarely use it. So, unfortunately, it isn't. Um, <laughs> not really one that you guys would be able to hit me up on. So, sorry about that. Um, Alright, so we're signing in. Now, this is the part that kind of threw me for a loop that I wanted to show you. So, um, what it asks to do is to merge your your Windows account or your Microsoft account with your Skype account. So next time you sign in on the Surface tablet, you'll actually be using your Hotmail email, which mine is funnyguywayinhotmail.com, instead of using the regular one I use, which is HTTP video. So they don't give you an option to go around this, which I didn't really like. So it's like you pretty much, to use it on here, you have to merge the accounts together. So, you know, it's one of those things where there's not really a way around it. So we just got to kind of work with it. But uh, here we go. We're in, and um, just kind of go over a couple of things here. It'll show you recent calls you've made. It'll show you uh, favorite people, and then here are just other people or standard. Like there's always the uh, test account right here where you can test and make sure your mic and your video is working. And I'm going to call myself because I have another Skype account, so I'm going to go ahead and tap this account and. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Oh, Just kidding. Hilarious commercial. So, uh, pretty simple. If you want to call somebody and they're someone that you talk to a lot, you'll probably already have them in your people section. And you would just tap their picture like I just did. And then you would hit call, uh, which would be a voice call or a video chat call. So let's try that first. Let's go video. And you can see me right here. And for some reason, my phone said it was busy. Let's try it again. All right. Video call. Tap the video icon. And there it is. It's calling me right now on my phone. So I'm going to go ahead and um, pick up the video. And now I'm going to turn my phone down because there will be a bad echo. But here we go. So you actually see me. And there's um, me and the camera there waving in the little corner. And there's the main picture right there. And then uh, you can just tap the screen to bring up your menu options. So menu right here. If you want to instant message them at the same time or bring up your dial pad. Or if you want to cut off the video. To tap there, turn off video. Switch. You can switch to your back camera. And now it'll show what's on the other side of the video, as you can see. And we're going to tap again, and we're going to end the call just like that. So that's kind of a basic, you know, Skype call right there. Pretty simple. Um, and again, they do have the messaging option right here where you can send the messages via Skype. We have our, our menu over here where we're going to swipe to the left, bring up our menu options, and we could hit, you know, for our settings. If you needed to uh, sign out, I believe you would do it over here in the options. Let's see options. Here we go. Microphone. So you can kind of, if you wanted to plug in your own microphone, you'd obviously be able to switch it right here. Same thing with the speaker. Um, to change the camera, you could actually plug in a webcam on here if you wanted to use a better camera. That's an option too. And then. Um, also, your options here for incoming calls, asking if you want to actually do video or screen sharing. 
Um, if you want to clear your history of who you've talked to and can talk to somebody you're not supposed to. And you can also set it to answer calls automatically. Okay, so that's kind of how you bring up the menu just by swiping from here to the left. And um, let's see, let's see. Uh, oh, that's right. We can pull over here and hit search. Um, oh, actually, you cannot search within this app, so that's good to know. So this search button that's normally right here can't be used to search for people on Skype. All right, and basically that was uh, Skype on the uh, Windows Surface tablet. And, um, you know, works really good. The cameras on the Surface are pretty good. You got your front and rear camera. Uh, this would be a great tablet to be able to Skype with friends and family. Uh, definitely because, you know, again, it's just like having a PC, except you just have a lighter version of it. So, um, hope that was helpful, guys. If it did, make sure you like the video. Uh, subscribe to X2 Tech Videos and keep watching, all right? Have a good one.